what you see in front of you is a h pin so for this one what you're gonna do is we're going to use the sweep function as we used last time for the pin lock but uh, it happened that the pin lock was so difficult for other people that they might they may they needed something simpler so first we're just wasting any time i'm gonna go and create and then from there i'm gonna go english standard i say create then here i need to make sure about my drawing plane since we're going to be using different drawing planes so x y so there you go i choose my line v and my line they need to be three inches so that one need to be three inches after that i go i go and arc v so that one they need to have a radius of zero of sorry one seven five inches then yeah i draw my line so i need to make sure about something here yeah. so that and that need to be tangent this and that need to be tangent and from v now i need to know my angle so that angle v need to be 30 degrees 30 degrees then the dimension d need to be that one over v come on i want you to be a little bit let me do this let me do this i think it will be easy for me so that one v from v to v that one need to be 1.12 inches i need to drag that's one big v 1.5 inches i can remove it so just for guidance i didn't want to make it more complicated so then after that i'm gonna going to do and draw my circle v so from the to the center of my circle that one need to be 0 0.38 inches and the size of my hole need to be 0 0.15 inches i'm done with that then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make sure that this become the center line so this is the center line escape this is the center line of my each pin so that's one the there you go then i say finish sketch then i come here and i change the origin of drawing sorry i change the drawing plane which need to be now x y y z sorry and then from the i give the size of my profile so that's one need to be as per our drawing 0 0.5 eight inches then i say finish sketch then from there i go in three dimension model i choose sweep function then profile i choose my profile secondly the path i choose my path there you go then i say okay so after that i go on visible it's uh, v then i make sure that i can extrude that part of mine so i need to extrude that i need to make a hole so let's say five inches i want it five inches because it can go passing through and through five inches then i go there i say through and through i say okay from the i come here i need to put a chamfron there of course so i go v then i say that's part v that's a third i say sound from so that part v need to have a sound from with a 45 degree angle and that one v needs to be 0 0.06 so there we go come on i say apply then i come that side v then i come here i see 
that one the atrial chamfer so i repeat the same cancel so i repeat the same thing here then i say apply then there we finish with our drawing so i'm gonna make sure that i remove the visibility that's one the beam what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the material that need to be in stainless steel stainless steel where is stainless steel yeah all right so ladies and gentlemen you can see there is your drawing and it's well done and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video so from now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourselves and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and uh please i hope to see you for the next video okay cool bye